I want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about Carly Russell's arrest is coming soon. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. You know the Hoover Police Department is going to wrap up this case. And it's going to be an airtight case. And they're going to give it to the district attorney to file charges against Carly Russell. But you know that Carly Russell and her family is extremely rich. They will get one of the best attorneys in Birmingham to protect her. This family refuses to hold this young lady accountable for her actions. I believe that Carly Russell has been doing this ever since she's been a young girl. She feels it's very entitled as a young woman. She feels as though since her parents are rich that she can't be touched. They are saying that she's in Atlanta right now celebrating her 26th birthday. She's celebrating a birthday after she pulled off one of the greatest hoax in American history. She hasn't come forward and talked to the police again to tell her what happened in those 49 hours that you were missing. Were you at the Red Roof Inn? Were you sitting in the woods? What were you doing, Carly? But she doesn't want to talk because her lawyer knows if she talks, she will incriminate herself. That's why she will never talk. But the serious problem I have with this case is Anaya Blanchard's mother, the young lady, Angela Harris, who put her name on the line, the woman who lost the child back in 2019, led the search party. A woman who had a heart of gold, a woman who believed in this family, a woman who believed there was no hoax. And after even when the police said there was a hoax, she never badmouthed the family. She said, I'm glad that Carly is home. But her husband is not the same. Her husband is extremely angry because Mrs. Harris put herself out there on a the line. And you can see the pain that she still feels from Anaya being missing. That Carly played games like this. Played with everybody's feelings. Played with everybody's time. Played with everybody's money because she wanted to get back at Tomar, her boyfriend. This shows you a young lady who's narcissistic. And I'm not going to say she's mentally ill because what the things that she done shows you that it was premeditated. If you look at all the searches she did on her computer, how to steal, where to go, what to do, looking for Amber Alerts. Basically, she knew there would be an outcome, but she did not know the outcome that she produced, especially with the American public. So her parents are out there defending her, still saying that she was abducted. The story that she gave the police was laughable that she was abducted, got loose, got abducted again, and broke loose again. These got to be the most comical abductors in the history of crime. But Carly herself, this young lady, doesn't feel that anything is gonna happen to her. She feels the next story will come across the screen and her story will simply go away. And that's not the case. People want justice. And there needs to be justice in this case. But the simple fact is all the hurt and pain that this young woman has caused. But what she has also done, she has hurt, hurt so badly, women who have been abducted, women in the future that may be abducted. 
when a family goes into the police station and says, my daughter is missing, my son is missing, the police may give them the side eye and tell them maybe they, they'll be back next week instead of starting that search party right away because of Carly Russell. Instead of her coming forward and giving all the information that she knows, so if that person is still out there, she can alarm the public. But you now see by her not talking, there is no one out there. Now she's in the process of trying to save herself. Her family is trying to save herself. What she has done to her family's reputation. Her father is a vice president at a bank. Her mother is a realtor. They worked so many years to get to those positions where they could buy that home in Hoover, Alabama. But Carly has done damage to them, their reputation. But not only that, she has embarrassed herself, partially embarrassed the black community, because you have to understand, we complain about the police not looking for our missing girls. But this time they did. And what happened, it was a hoax. This is the damage that she has done. If she refuses to come forward, give more information to the police, she refuses to apologize to the community, but apologize to Angela Harris, the mother of Anaya Blanchard. You can still see the pain in her eyes, even when she talks about Carly, because it brings up Anaya Blanchard. This is sad to look at. It's sad to watch because it seems like the family is trying to run out the clock, but the Hoover police will not have it. For the simple fact is you embarrass their department in front of the whole world. And I have to give the Hoover police department an A for doing their job. They did a proper investigation. They found out all the information and they came to a conclusion. They said, we want to know where you were for those 49 hours. And I don't think she wants to get the answer because the answer she knows will incriminate her. This is absolutely one of the most disgusting cases I have ever seen and this young lady needs to pay the price for her crimes there was no baby she wasn't abducted she was somewhere with somebody else we don't know who that person is and that person won't say anything simply because they don't want to be incriminated and being brought into a crime. So she's protecting someone else. Carly is one of those girls who really never grew up. She has everything that she can desire. But she didn't have that boyfriend. So she lashed out at him. But what she really did was lash out at the public in a pronounced way by creating one of the great hoaxes in American history. So it's time for her to pay the piper. I want to thank you for listening to the Black Site. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video.